Right, last night we saw Goldie become the first person to be evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother house. Here is how he took the news. The first person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... <laughs> it's Goldie. Yeah! Say <laughs> well. Goodbye. It's all for that. Well, goodbye, mate. <laughs> It's Celebrity Big Brother, so far so nice. <laughs> Last night, you voted Goldie out of the Big Brother house, leaving Les, Melinda, Mark, Sue and Anne to basically fight it out. Well, not so much fight it out as just be really nice to each other. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, hopefully tonight's task may stir things up a bit. It's a quiz, and whoever loses will be the only person who will nominate two housemates to face the public vote. Ouch. That's live in about 40 minutes, but first, here's what happened yesterday. Dear Five, 10.45 a.m. Today, either Les or Goldie will be the first celebrity to be evicted from the Big Brother house. They've decided to mark the occasion with a Christmas meal. One Christmas, and I must have been, I could only have been of three because of where we were living. Um, I can remember going down in the middle of the night and I really wanted roller skates and unwrapping one of my presents. Mm. Seeing that they were roller skates, I was so excited, but I couldn't wrap them back up, so I had to get my older brother out of bed to come downstairs and wrap it up for me. And that was the only time I've ever tried to find out my present because then the next day it was that kind of know what it is. <laughs> I've got my parents going to me for Christmas. Oh lovely. Which is going to be hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh lovely. <laughs> Dad literally just sort of straight in like did you say you've got Sky Sport? <laughs> you know I've Sky, Sky Sport. Shit. Wondering about that. Just, and then just finding as much alcohol as possible, drinking it and passing out. <laughs> my mum just going what isn't that what Through all my clothes and refolding them. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> where, are the, where are you from then? That was a kind of Devon accent. My dad, yeah, my dad's got a sort of West Country burr. Um, where, where's he from? Croydon. Croydon. <laughs> 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 One or four p.m. In preparation for the housemate's Christmas dinner, Anne is making decorations from toilet paper. I think one of them is being saved from a fate worse than boredom <laughs> by leaving today. She's really going for that shopper's vote, look. <laughs> she's going for the shop. She's going for the busty homemaker. She's going for like the you know, yeah, busty homemaker. Busty homemaker. <laughs> she's like <laughs> busty homemaker. <laughs> she's she's, she's got it going on. You know what? You as well as like it's so ridiculous. Look, busty so homemaker. <laughs> she's like this. I saw her earlier on. She's like this, and in the mirror, just squash the tits against the glass and clean them. She's actually building a picket fence outside. Anyone want their feet doing? I don't care how smelly they are. Anyone's feet will do. She's really going for that ultra. I am so nice. She's probably got like a sordid, sordid thing going on, I like really know. bad. She's vile. You should see her. She's awful. I just got Melinda going. Hi. <laughs> okay. Do you feel better? I feel better. Can you like you not smile for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> just a minute. Just a minute. Just, like, just not smile. Just, just do it. Just. Just, just, I know I'll be gone soon, but it'll be out of your yeah. hair. <laughs> no, but just please, just smile for yes. wipe it off your face. Smile for me one more time. <laughs> yeah, please. I know, I do, I do. I'll get, I'll get by on that kind of stuff. I just want to know what Anne's making with bog roll. Christmas decoration. Oh, Anne. Oh. I don't know if it's going to work. She's got the Reader's Digest vote, like, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> block it. Block it. Get in there and block it now. Right, get in there and block that vote. Block it. Angles, please. Stop with the angles. Stop it. What about Goldie? No, what it is, they smiled. I'm just bullying my way to the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, he's yeah, wearing his hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's ripping our heads off. I'm just ripping everyone's heads off. I've got like three heads severed already. And I'm just trying to hack the a bit of a but the tendons are no. keeping a smile going. It's so strong. <laughs> the, tendons. <laughs> the tendons are hacking away. I did notice. You did, I yeah. didn't notice. I'm glad you noticed too, because I did too. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs>
co-op just smile if you made it, eh? Oh, silence. <laughs> <laughs> We've got used to not being able to speak, I think. Oh. <laughs> 1.39 p.m. The housemates discuss their favourite films. Did you hear the myth about that? The one woman who, I can't remember her name, this who did like Kate's Gonna Happen, <laughs> went on to, she was yeah, in The Witch of the East Witch, she was the cherry, <laughs> cherry vomiter in The Witch of the East Witch. I didn't say it, she knew what that guy was. And that scene, she did not know what was going to happen. So if you notice that scene happening, John Hurt's stomach goes, the camera just cuts straight to her, and she just does not stop screaming for the whole thing. Earlier in the day, Mark came to the diary room to ask Big Brother for some lentils and tea bags. Tony Curtis in Sun Like It Hot. Yeah. <laughs> I think I may have felt something oh God, in my that left is so toe. Maybe that's <laughs> to be in. My gunties. There you go. The leopard skin gunties. Hey, what are you doing? You know what the, one of the best things to be, what I think would be to do? And I think there's the money to do it now, and the technology, should I say, to do it. I don't really know what I'm doing. Really it's, to it's to change the end of classic films. And so it looks as, as it, it, you can't even tell. Like, you know, like, like I'd change the end of Von Ryan's Express when he's running for the train. You should all do and this and go into the yeah, toilet for an hour. <laughs> You're like Steve McQueen getting over the fence. No. Big yeah. Brother! Yeah. Big Brother, can I have some lentils, please? I'm starving! Can I have some lentils? I'm starving, I'm not eating for four days! Please! Look at me, I'm wasting away! Give me some food! Please, some lentils, anything! And some tea bags! Can I have some tea packed? It's not too much to ask for. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> I'm absolutely bloody starving. <laughs> oh, that's good, mate. <laughs> if that doesn't work, they have no heart. They have no heart. I wish I had a yeah. kind of, what, There's no shame we didn't film that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. Great on camera, that. 7.01 p.m. The group sit down to a Christmas dinner of roast chicken, vegetable loaf, Yorkshire pudding and potato croquettes. Yeah. Let me join the party. Yeah. Hey, oh. Christmas. I would just like to say, folks, that it has been an absolute fantastic time. You know, you, you worry about what, before you come in, you think, am I doing the right yeah. thing? You know, yeah. why am I Are doing this? Are they going to do a right load of... But it was such a laugh. Absolutely such a laugh. It was. And yeah. if I go, I will be rooting for all of you. Cheers. Well done. Cheers. 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 Absolutely. As much as I am of an attack, 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 I was a plan. No. <laughs> it was all planned. No, it was all planned. No, it's, it's, um, it's, been, it's been wicked and it really... Is, I just hope that the people that will get that. They don't, they don't kind of look into that too much, do because it's a charity, so they're half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just um, and you all, characters in your own right, all of you are very strong and resilient. Anyone to tolerate me for a couple of days is resilient. So, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, oh, cheers, Joey. Let's well, look at that. You know, can I look at that jewellery, please? That is a, that's a weighty piece. You know what? Yeah, it's a weighty piece, isn't I it? Thought, it? I thought, because I thought, those you, on the Christmas tree. You haven't worn much this week, and I thought it's all, all been taken off you, and you just only allowed your ring. That's oh, a weapon. This is party night stuff. Yeah. It's my party trick stuff, isn't it? It's insane. That's a weapon, yeah. that. There's a knuckle oh, dusters. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> have a key, baby. Have a key. Okay. What, do you want to have a different banana? Where's your watch? Yeah. You had a Breitling watch on the top. Producer Nixie, you haven't got to spy for the show. Oh, yeah. God, girl, you need to cope with the weight. I'm just thinking, don't do it, babe, because it's it's bad luck. Is it? For me, anyway, I'm superstitious, you know. All right, I don't want to, I'm not going to... I'm superstitious as I fell through the stairs. Oh, you you bad, bad luck, it ripped your ass off. Uh, yeah. Didn't rip your, head off. Head off. It ripped your ass it's off. It's heavy, you know? <laughs> it's heavy, you know? It's heavy. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it's... It's great, it's got a great feeling to it. It's very heavy. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. At 13pm, Big Brother calls Les to the diary room. If I stay in and Goldie goes, um, it will just be so different. Um, I think, particularly since we've been nominated, we have just like been like that together, together, and probably as and so annoying. I think we both have probably exhausted each other, and I would think that the rest of the group are thinking, please let one of them go. It, we don't really care which one, but we want that dynamic to change. And if you don't leave. Do you have any idea how you think the dynamics will be in the house? 
Um, no, I, d I, I really don't. Um, uh, all, all I do know is that if, if um, before when I first nominated, when I had to nominate, it was really it was like, oh, this is a terrible thing to do. This is a terrible thing to do. But when you've been nominated, I think you suddenly get tough. And having been nominated, if I'm if I have to nominate tonight or tomorrow, I will come straight in and I will just rattle off the names, and I will not feel as bothered as I did about it first time. If I stay in, straight in. Not with the knife. It's not with the knife because it isn't that. It isn't that kind of thing. It's just got to be done. Eight thirty-four p.m. Hello. Hello, Sue. How are you? Today I feel bad. I feel guilty and bad, and I feel squashed as a human being by the overbearing loudness of others. You know, I can't be myself in this in this current environment because it's just a lot of shouting and I can't be bothered with shouting me. So I just trying to learn. It's, it's interesting, it's interesting. That's what I said before, you know, you can't all fill, you can't all be grandiose and fill a space. You know, one person can, but the rest of us sort of shrink down and kind of fit around it. I think if Goldie goes in, the, the, the tempo just slows. It's quieter. But then, you know, if he goes, then you'll see, I think you'll see a lot of other people pop up to, I don't know who, but you know, will spring out to take his place. So I think he's sort of mo moaning that we're all boring or some of us are boring and he's having a pop at a few people. But um, actually when he leaves, I think those people will snap back to their normal kind of ways, really. I mean, he, you can't be yourself around him sometimes. I don't know how people that know and love me think what they see about the way I've interacted and how normal it is and, you know, what boundaries are being placed on my personality and how I'm you know how I'm coping with that and I don't know it's but I just feel guilty I feel bad and particularly about Les because I do really you know, I've known him and I like him and I see I see him really hurt and sad today and unwittingly as I said I contributed to it and I didn't want to do that so I would have had I known what I know now that my vote would actually count towards something genuine to a genuine eviction I would have never made it for him <laughs> At 47 p.m., the first eviction will take place in 43 minutes. That'd be wicked. All together. One, one person at a time for the longest screen. Fake it. <laughs> that was Brilliant. 9 36 p.m. It's a tough one. It's becoming, isn't it? Being in the house, this is Davina. Hello. Hi, Davina. Hi, Davina. You are live on Channel 4. <coughs> Whoa. Whee. The votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the first person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Is Goldie. Yeah! Oh. Sick, well... Oh. Goodbye. I'm going to go Well, goodbye, mate. Oh. <laughs> goodbye, mate. Hello, Goldie. See you all later. I'll not get the angel for Davina. Let's go and wave for <clears throat> it's been fantastic. It's been fantastic. Thank you. We'll see you later. Come back, Les. Seven, six, five. Thanks, Goldie. Bye, Goldie. See you afterwards. See you later. Thank you. See you for dinner. You've been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Bye. Jeez. Is that over there? Yeah. 
Welcome back, Les. <laughs> back to the phones. Well, Welcome there. back, Les. I'm going to pack my bag and everything. Come on. Rebond. You know what? You just kind of, you can hear your own name. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hear my own name. Yeah. I'm going to hear my own name. Like you do when you... Rebond him. Hey! Rebond him. <laughs> Rebond yeah. him. Oh. Shall I get the kettle on, then? <laughs> Put the kettle on. God. Okay, we've got to wear these in honour of Goldie. No, more no. Goldie. I knew what we'd say is, isn't it quiet? No, I don't know. Be 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 sure. be I might be. I'm Goldie. sure I heard Line Amanda up. cheer. Line up. We promise. Line you up. heard what? I, I'm sure I heard Amanda cheer. I'm sure, I de oh, definitely really? heard her voice. Oh, yeah. oh, I definitely heard her, like, you know, obviously really? thrilled that I was staying in. We promise. Come in. Come in. Come in. Not coming home. On the sofa. On the sofa. I'm sure I heard her cheer. On the sofa. On the so this is the way, this is the way we're together, because that's what we want, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lily, it's cold. Well, at least I'll have more cigarettes. Come on, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> come on. I've <laughs> really. got 20 now to last me for another three days. Well done, Les. Cheers. It's oh, weird, isn't it? Did it's weird. Weird. She possibly could, she would have, wouldn't she? Oh, God, if she could, she would, yeah. She'd be here. Yeah. She'd be so proud. I mean, she's going to drive away. The only reason not to is to be, it's filming, you know? Yeah. God, I've lost my, I've lost my funny business, form. eh? Oh, I didn't mean that. I forgot. Oh, God. What? I mean, forgot to do it. How are you feeling? What? I was like, bum, 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Why? Well, well, I'm just racing for both of you. Because it just comes from nowhere, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's not like, how are you or anything, you know? She doesn't, she's straight, straight yeah. in, that's all we hear, isn't it? But also, it's kind of, it's so built up, isn't it? You're kind yeah. of really yeah. waiting for that. But they're moment, really lost. So, like, yeah, I was my It's like that. There's no, there's no ceremony to it. It's just, it's ruthless. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Weird. Really weird. 11.16 p.m. As a reward for passing an earlier observation task set by Big Brother, the group avert themselves an 80s party. I don't feel a party. It's not in a party mood at all. <laughs> it's just not. I think that's all. It's, it's just kind of... Kind of it's, it's, it's only just gone. Like it's only just gone. Quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Without him. Mm. Definitely. We need to get a routine for when the music starts so we can just kick in as soon as the song starts with the routine. Oh, ah. there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit quick, we're not that fast. <laughs> oh, I feel all in the party spirit. Oh, I forgot my drink. I need to be pissed to dance. <laughs> Duck in! Hey, this is ace! <laughs> Who's looking after your dog? Uh, my girlfriend's got it, got him at the moment. Is she at your house again? No, no. My mum and dad are up at my house. She's, um, I, I actually don't know where, <laughs> where she'll be at this moment in time, <laughs> to be honest. Do you live together, or? No. No? 
we see each other a lot, so we were at I'm either at hers or she's at mm. mine, but we haven't kind of done that move. Yeah, I know. Do you see her as soon as you get out? Hopefully she'll be here, yeah, when we come out. Yeah, you need the, you need the backing of people. Mm. Yeah. Especially people who you trust to kind of put some perspective on it. Yeah. Because it is hard. I think Mel's real worry was you've never had this exposure before. Mm. And there was a lot of... I think as well, um, Rona told her story when she came out of the jungle and effectively outed me, which is my right to do. Mm. Absolutely. Did she do that? She did do that, of course. You know, and if someone you've been with for a while does that like to you, you just have to go and then do it. It's your conscience. Yeah, you've got to say everybody's free to... Yeah, but you know, and I just took, took the foot right off the head on that and just thought, I'm just going to be dignified. Would I do that to her? No. Will I be going around doing that afterwards? No. You know. How long were you together? About two years. It was pretty bad. It was pretty unpleasant. The whole, the whole of the time? Most of the last year was absolutely just dreadful. Just like a war. Mm. And I became so tired. Mm. The constant bombardment, really. That, you know... Now, sometimes it'll never be over because I think she'll be taking pot shots, but, you know, that's OK, too. I sort of think I've come, going through that made me a lot stronger, so... You have to sometimes go through some horrible stuff to kind of, I mean, mm. you, you know, we, we all know. Yeah. 2.49am. You, you must have the, the tag, the take that tag, that you find difficult to shake off as well. Yeah, I mean, you get comments, you know, like, just a couple of weeks ago, I was in a, in a pizza shop. I was just waiting to get a pizza, and some girl who had had a few drinks just shouted over, or oh, get over yourself. Get over yourself? Yeah, I was just waiting for the pizza. I was like, what have I done? Oh, get over yourself, you've had your time. I was like... Is that what she said? You've had your time? You've had your time, get over Unless yourself. Unless she pissed, and, you know... Yeah, she's had a few drinks, and yeah. with some mates, and... Yeah. Best to just walk away from that situation. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, with the pizza, though. Make sure you get with the pizza. With the pizza, yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. What are the business? Do people come up to you, strangers come up to you and say, all right, let's how are you doing, you know? And, you know? Yeah, totally. And, and, and the same to you. you, you know? In some ways, you never really feel alone, do you? No, exactly, that's, that's right. That's the nice yeah. thing yeah. about it. Yeah. You never really feel alone. Yeah. You can just be in a cafe or mm. a bar or something and people come yeah. up and talk. Sometimes you yeah. don't want it, but sometimes No, absolutely, it's, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's inappropriate, nice. you know, yeah. and, you know, or, you know, you just think, could do without this today. But, you know, you can never say no to it because unless somebody's rude, I don't like it when people are rude. No. Yeah. But sometimes you're just having a bad day and you think, yeah, just don't, don't, don't want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> get over yourself. You look in the mirror and you yeah. go, she's actually right. I have to get over myself. <laughs> yes. I love Les having that serious conversation. He's got all that glitter all over his face. Anyway, that all happened yesterday. And there are, well, there is Anne uh, right now and the other housemates, um, all waiting to find out what their task is going to be. After the break, Big Brother's going to be setting the housemates a quiz. Now, the housemates are expecting this, but what they don't know is that we've got a bit of an evil twist. They've been guessing kind of all day what that might be. Les actually thought that it might be the loser having to nominate, and has already said that basically, categorically, he will not do that. So, uh, it'll be quite interesting to see if he's the one that's got to nominate and how Big Brother's going to deal with that. Anyway, I'm now going to hand over, live, to Big Brother. An all-night <laughs> rave. This is Big Brother. Will one housemate please read out the instructions in the envelope loudly and clearly to the rest of the room? Oh, Housemates, your task tonight will test how well you have got to know one another. Firstly, you must pick your specialist subject. You must each <laughs> chose typing error. You must each oh, choose a pregnant. different housemate about whom you will answer questions. This must be someone other than yourself. <laughs> yeah. How you work this out is up to you. You have been provided with five envelopes, each with a housemate's name on. You will be called to the diary room individually in alphabetical order to answer three questions about your chosen housemate. You must bring with you the envelope with your chosen housemate's name on. All answers to the quiz questions have been substantiated. Each question has a definite answer. 
Oh. Big Brother will only accept your first answer. Oh, my God. Big Brother will tell you whether each answer is correct or incorrect while you are in the diary room. The group result will be announced at the end of the quiz. If, as a group, you achieve 10 or more right answers out of 15, you will receive a reward. Hey. This will be either £10 worth of tea, <laughs> £10 day. worth of cigarettes, or £10 worth of vegetables. The, next, the person who has the lowest score will be immediately asked to nominate the next two housemates for oh, you will told you. Told you. It is forbidden to discuss or in any way indicate to each other whom you might or might not nominate should you lose the task. Oh, to reiterate, gosh. the loser of the quiz will be the only person to nominate tonight. Yeah, we got that. After <laughs> making their nominations, phone lines will be open to the public as usual. Normal nomination rules apply, <laughs> which presumably means you can't nominate yourself. Should there be more than one loser, Big Brother will set a tie break. The details of the tie bait will be provided at the time. No. Housemates should now decide which reward the group is playing for and about whom you are answering questions. You have one minute. Well, it shouldn't be cigarettes because only two have smoked, so it's either tea or vegetables. Mm. Tea, I, think. I think tea. I think tea. Tea. Tea, tea please. And if they could throw in a few herbal teas into that tea, that word tea, that would be useful. Ten quid with the tea. Ten quid with the tea. Maybe some tobacco lace tea bags. Yeah. 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 We can always quite oh, nice. Oh, we're going to do each <laughs> thing. <laughs> anyway. yeah. who, well, who would like to do who? Uh, um, gosh, I'll I'll do... I'm quite keen to do Melinda. Oh, I'll do oh, Melinda. I was quite keen to do Melinda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 who is left? I'm I'll do Susie Pie or Sue. Anne. So you choose. Who's left to choose? Who Who's left to choose? You've left to choose. We were both having chose, you. but you choose Sue Anne. I don't, I don't mind that Sue. If I don't you, mind. Mark, who would you who have gone for? Fair? I probably would have felt most comfortable with. I would have gone this for Melinda. I got, you choose Sue. Yeah. Got, okay, I'll go. I'll go for Anne. Friend. You go for Anne. What's that? One housemaker to the diary room. Okay. Is that with, 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 a, with your thing, ready to go? I think so. I'll go. Shall I take... Okay. Who else I doing? Les. You're doing Les. Oh, no, we do these after. We open these afterwards. You're no, it's said to take the I'm going to open. I'm pretty sure. You can check. All right. Oh, God. Do we, are we going to see? So, who so, am I doing? Um, who do you want to do? Right. Shall I do you, see? <sighs> I don't know whether I know. Yeah. You want to... Do you feel more comfortable than Melinda <clears> or I am? I really don't mind. OK, the housemates are just about to do their quiz. Now, remember, the person who loses will be the only housemate that nominates two fellow housemates for eviction. So, um, over the break, Anne came in to choose the reward that they're going to get if they get 10 or more questions right. That's out of 15 um, questions in total. Now, they've gone for tea over vegetables. What happened to five portions of fruit and veg a day? Anyway, I'm now going to hand back to my brother. And um, I've had some more stories. Will Anne please come to the diary room? A Lego house. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's his name. This is middle name. Oh, good. Uh, That's why I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get cranky in the house. <laughs> what was what was Anne's worst moment? Worst childhood moment? Oh, we have to do the movie. Oh, that was in the book. Hello, Anne. Will you confirm the name of the housemate about whom you're answering questions? I'm answering questions about Les. I can't hear you. And you are reminded oh, that you. Big Brother will take your first answer only. Yes. Your first question is, which famous Scouser went to the same school as Les? A. Ken Dodd. B. John Lennon. C. Cilla Black. John Lennon. That is correct. Your second question is, what is the age gap between Les and his wife Amanda? A. 15 years. B. 17 years. C. 19 years. Oh, Les. Um, can Big Brother repeat this? Options. Because I can't remember what anything A, on it. 15 years. B, 17 years. C, 19 years. I'll go for 17 years. That is the correct answer. Your third question is, what character did Les play in Brookside? A, car dealer Jeff Evans. 
B. Petty criminal Todd McCann. C. School teacher Bob Garvey. I'll have to go for petty criminal Todd McCann because I don't know. And that is incorrect. I would have got Thank you. You can now leave the diary room and rejoin the other housemates. Oh, thank you very much. I just don't know what anything about. Have you ever said that here? People. Um, no. I would have no, this is, these no, are just this wrong. is just random. This is, I'm next because we're going to This is just general order, knowledge. I would have got everyone wrong. <laughs> I would have. I would have got every single one wrong. What was the, um, the thing that you got when you first break? That's what, that's what I was basing it on. Double basing it on. Yeah, we'll ask that again. But. Well, Les, please yes. come to the diary room. I was completely... I didn't have a clue on any of them. It wasn't 10am. 10am, good morning with Anna and Nick. And then a little... I just don't know. There's no point asking. Hello, big brother. Hello, Les. Hi. Will you confirm the name of the housemate about whom you are answering questions? It's Mel. I never know. Is it a little good to affect me? Melinda. You are reminded that Big Brother will take your first answer only. Okay. Your first question is, where did Melinda get married? A. Las Vegas. B. Bali. C. Swindon. I haven't got a clue. They didn't tell anyone. I think she's a home bird. I think she got married in Swindon. Bali. Bali. No, only told. Les, that is incorrect. Damn. Your second question is. What was the slogan for the double glazing campaign which shot Melinda to fame? Was it A, class behind glass, B, double glazing, double the fun, C, what will keep you warm this winter? It's the first one, but he won't know. I'll go for C. I haven't got a clue. That is incorrect. Oh. The third Damn. question is, which one of the following has Melinda not done as an A-level? A. Mathematics. B. Environmental Studies. C. Home Economics. You just want me to nominate, don't you? <laughs> <sighs> Mathematics. Les, that is incorrect. Incorrect. I can hear it in your voice. Thank you. You can now leave the diary room and rejoin the other housemates. Thank you. Oh, so it's just it's right into It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's stitch up. Oh. That is such a stitch up. <laughs> no, don't worry about Les, it. That is a Les, stitch up, isn't it? Nobody in here knew any of them. I didn't know any really know any of them. I mean, John Lennon, fine. You know, you, I hadn't mentioned well. John Lennon. I wouldn't even know the answer. I got all of him wrong. Don't give a to None of us would have got those right. <laughs> doesn't matter. Don't it worry. doesn't matter. Don't worry. No, come on, and we're all with you. you Do you know, know what? Now okay. we're all in the same boat, aren't we? Yeah. Hello, big brother. Hello, Mark. Will you confirm the name of the housemate about whom you're answering questions? I'm answering questions on Sue. He's beautiful. You were reminded that Big Brother will take your first answer only. Okay. Your first question is. What did Sue study at university? English. A. English language. B. English literature. C. European studies. I know this one. English literature. Yeah. That is correct. Hang on, hang on a Your second question is, which job has Sue not done? A. Cleaning toilets. B. Door-to-door -door sales. C. Hospital porter. I'd go for C. Hospital porter. That is correct. Mm. Correct. Your third question is, who first noticed Sue's comic talents and invited her to contribute to their show? Was it A, Ben Elton, B, Jennifer Saunders, C, Victoria Wood? Oh, this is a difficult one. Um, I think it's B, which is Jennifer Saunders. That is correct. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. You can you. now leave the diary room and rejoin yeah. the others. Have you talked about where Mark. you're married? Hey! hey, 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 hey. He's a man! <laughs> I, I mentioned it to Goldie. Well, no, I don't think he wants to look pretty, you look good. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, we're all the same. I'm going to go and crash and burn on Mark now. Go on, go and crash and burn on me. Is it me a pleasure to watch? <laughs> I was a chalet maid and I might have said that in buttons. Chalet maid in buttons. <laughs>
no I'm sorry, folks, French I'm music. really sorry. Right. Yeah, it's like, I, I, I feel like it's been English stitched French. up there, haven't I, with three English French questions that not English really knew anything. English music, but I didn't get the French. Mm. Oh, we can't see you. Mark. It's Mark. Well, you're just going to have to wait, Melinda, because I just want to have a look at the points so far. Let's just take a look at the board. And two points. Les. Really sorry, but I've got to do this. Uh -uh. Nul point. And Mark, three points. He did much, much better than I thought. I had no idea Mark was so attentive. Anyway, Les stays in last place. He thinks he's been stitched up, but I just don't think he's been paying enough attention. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to handle those nominations. But anyway, we'll see you in a minute. OK, welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. We're about to start part two of our quiz. Um, Sue and Melinda still to go. Um, basically, they've got to get five questions right between them in order to get their uh, reward. Um, Les has been going absolutely ballistic because he feels he's been stitched up. But don't forget, everybody, that the envelopes that they were given had the questions in already, and they chose who they were going to get questions about. So he chose Mel. It's not our fault. OK. Now, don't forget the loser faces a return to the diary room to be the only person to make tonight's nominations. Don't forget, Les did only moments ago say, well, next time I have to nominate, I'm just going to go in there and do it. So now he's going to have to put his money where his mouth is. I'm now handing over to Big Brother. Melinda, will you confirm the name of the housemate about whom you're answering questions? Mark. You are reminded Sorry. that Big Brother will take your first answer only. Your first question is, from whom did Mark first learn meditation techniques? A. Jerry Halliwell. B. Gary Barlow. C. Lulu. I'm going to hazard a guess at Lulu. That's the correct answer. Is it? That yeah. is correct. Your second question is, which award did Mark receive three times? A. GQ Most Stylish Man. B. TV Hits Best Hairdo. C. Smash, Smash Hits Most Fanciable Male. Smash Hits Most Fanciable Male. Again, I hazard a guess. That is correct. Your third question is, what did Mark buy with his first substantial check from Take That? A. A white Ford Fiesta. B. A pool table. C. A Vespa scooter. Oh no, that's a tricky one because his first car was a white Ford Fiesta, but I don't know if he bought that with his money. Uh, hasn't mentioned a scooter, hasn't mentioned a pool. We'll go for the white Ford Fiesta. That is correct. <laughs> You can now leave the diary room and rejoin the other housemates. Thank you. Oh, I like the little. Yes. I like the little. Star. The little hand. Yes. You are a star. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. This is Big Brother. Super. Go see. Sorry, Les. You didn't do any A levels. Is that right? No, I did Sorry, O levels. Hello. Hello, Sue. Will you confirm the name of the housemate about whom you're answering questions? I'm going to be hazarding guesses about Anne. You are reminded that Big Brother will take your first answer only. Your first question is, what is the name of Anne's second youngest son? A. Oliver. B. Jamie. C. Jacob. Second youngest son. No, no, no. Jacob. That is correct. Your second question is, for what did Anne say she got in trouble at school on her application form? A. Wearing platform shoes. B. Wearing a black bra underneath a white shirt. C. Nothing. She was far too good. Nothing. She was I far object too to the question. Could you repeat the question, sorry? For what did Anne say she got in trouble at school? on her application form. A. Wearing platform shoes. B. Wearing a black bra underneath a white shirt. C. Nothing. She was far too good. B. Wearing a black bra under a white shirt. That is correct. Your third question is, which of the following has Anne not done as a job? 
A. Chalet maid at Butlins. B. Presenter of Miss World. C. Library assistant. Sorry, Anne. Presenter of Miss World. That is incorrect. She's a dark one. Thank you. You can now leave the diary room and rejoin the other housemates. Well, we've won anyway. That's we've won. Got... She got two. Oh, oh. Kenya. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. Anything else you forgot? You forgot that one. Les, if it's any oh, consolation, Les. if I'd gone in first, I would have got every single question wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, and everyone's it ready really to go. It doesn't just matter. Do it. Just do it I guessed guess. all my ones at Mark. Only you won for fact. The other two I guessed. This is nothing was based on anything I've said. Don't worry. Don't worry. I would have so be rewarded with tea to be collected from the storeroom later tonight. Hey. Honestly, Les, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? Just do it. Okay. Please go don't on, worry. Don't please. worry. Just do what you would have done anyway, and it's okay. I hadn't even thought about it. Well, don't think about it. Just go in and. The loser of tonight's quiz and the housemate making tonight's nominations is Les. Oh. Big Brother reminds oh. housemates that normal nomination rules apply and that it is forbidden to discuss nominations. Oh, so we won't know Do anyway. Do I have to go back into the diary room? The last for you. We're not going to yeah. know who you're nominated. No, we don't. No, no, we won't know. How else are you going to know? Oh, well, we know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're watching me all there. It's all right, Les. Right. Right. They won't be a big deal. Would Les please no, come to the Go on, the question. I'm going on that, that third question. Would, we'll all be doing the same thing. Yeah, but even if you got that right, I'm afraid, darling, you would have... ...actually wrong, because um, Melinda's just said that she didn't do any A-levels. So um, I, I got that right in that Matt, if I'd answered any of them, it was right. She only went to O level. She didn't go to A level. So I think I got one. I know it doesn't make any difference. I've still lost. But technically, it's a mistrial. Les, Melinda did put that she did A levels on her application form. Well... She just said to us that she didn't do A level, so um, she she didn't do any of those at A level. Anyway, I've still got to. I still would only get one, and I've got to nominate. So, do you want to ask me then? Yes, Les. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? <sighs> All. Four people that are left with me, I really, really like, and I will be seeing when we leave here, I hope. And I hope they understand that what I might be doing now is... I've just got to do it. I've got to do it. And the two people that I have chosen are, I think, can cope with it. Oh, that sounds like the others can't. I think the two people that I'm going to nominate to stay in have things to prove. Um, and to smash out of boxes that people have put them in. And I think the other two don't have that. So that's my reason with both of them. And number one is Sue. And I gave a different reason the other day. I said that I didn't feel I could get to know her, and since then I feel that I have got to know her. So it's nothing to do with not getting to know her and not feeling that I can get to know her, because I, you know, I feel that I've bonded with Sue since then. And it's, it is simply that I think she can deal with it, and I don't think that she, I don't think she has anything to prove. Les, can you please confirm your reason for this nomination? I think I just said that, didn't I? That I don't think that Sue has anything to prove by being in here, I, I think that the two people and myself have um, boxes to smash out of. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Exactly the same reason. Exactly the same reason. I don't... I don't have any grudge against anybody in here and I think I think that this person is brilliant it's 
I don't need to do this. I just absolutely love her. She's she's a lovely, lovely woman. It's Anne. It's a horrible thing to do. I knew this was going to happen. I guessed this was going to happen, but I didn't think it was possible because it means that I I stay in. I, I, it's a hard one. This this is the hardest thing. Treachery, isn't it? Finally, can you repeat the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Sue and Anne. Thank you, Les. Please remain seated in the diary room chair. Now, when he comes out, he's going to be down again. Oh, down! Big brother. The two housemates nominated for eviction oh God. are, Give me. It's all right. in alphabetical order, <laughs> Anne and Sue. Right. Get <laughs> Now get him! <laughs> Well, it had to be any two of us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any two of us. I really thought that. Any two of us. Doesn't matter. No. It's actually not. Not doesn't matter. If I go home, I get you to see my little boys. No, you mind. don't want to come out of that room now, do you? Oh, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh Les. Come room. on, Les. Should we be there for It's you? open. Oh, he's having a new breast. Come on, Les. 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 Don't worry. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, don't, don't be silly. silly. Don't be silly. It's a game. Come on. Don't be silly. It's a game. Oh, you had the shittiest job. You had the hardest job. Yeah. <laughs> you had the shittiest job. The worst. Can I explain? Can no. You don't know what it is. I would not. like to explain. You know why? Because I don't want to, I don't think, but you can. Yeah, all right, come on. <laughs> well, you, well, no, it's, it's not fair because you should have. I'm sending a telepathic message to Les now. And that is just stop talking when you don't. When the big brother leaves the space, don't say any more. Dig hole too deep. Anyway, ah, uh, so the next two people up for eviction are Anne and Sue. If you want to evict Anne, then call 09011515401, or you can text vote Anne to 83188. But if you want to see Sue being the next one to go, then call 09011154406 or just text vote Sue to 83188. Phone lines are open now. Remember, 15 pence of every phone vote and 10p of every text vote will go to Centrepoint, National Missing Persons Helpline, Rethink and Samaritans. So do your good deed for the day and get calling. You can also vote on the Big Brother website at channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. And we'll see you tomorrow night at 9 for an update. And then see either Sue or Anne, unfortunately, get the boot. I'll be interviewing one of them tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll be seeing you then. Good night. Yeah. What did they say when you... Because we yeah, said yeah, well, the question. Did they Melissa put it on him? I didn't! <laughs> 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 I did She probably should have applied for a job, you know, when you put your grades <laughs> on. <laughs> How many GCSEs did you get? Seven. 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 <laughs> When you said, what, what degree did you do? English, the US, then you sort of yeah. rained off it and went. Yeah. Such a good What's, yeah. what's the A level? What's the. No, it would be A levels were called A levels. Right, right. so you can't use that. I no. wrote down. They were, G they were G GCE A levels and O levels officially. I'm sorry. Because I did no. GCEs at school no. and I did GCSEs at college. Don't be sorry, this is a game. We're probably. <laughs>